So we're bringing USB-C to iPhone 15. Apple's new iPhone has a new bottom. It's getting a more versatile port, one used by other Apple devices and almost all of the competition. So the older Lightning port may end up obsolete. You're going to have to buy a couple extra cables. Tech experts say the upside is one cable to rule them all. I do think there will be a lot of people out there that might be a little frustrated when they go pick up their new iPhone, come home, realize all those cables that they've amassed over the last couple of years, they're not going to work anymore. This type of change isn't new. Apple has swapped cables many times before and not just for phones. But this time, it wasn't exactly the company's choice. The European Union passed a law forcing this move, something Apple had resisted until now. I don't think Apple really had a, a choice in the matter, actually, in terms of whether to adopt it or not. It's, it's not feasible for them to have, you know, a different hardware standard um, based on different sort of regions of the globe. Sharing chargers with other devices like laptops could cut down on electronic waste, but experts say that could take years. I don't think that necessarily this change will have like an immediate um, direct line effect on um, sort of e-waste or environmental outcomes. But I think it's part of a broader shift, like a sea change, um, where we see, um, you know, a real interest and investment in extending the useful life of the things that we own. Extending the life of new tech by eliminating the old, eventually. Eni Sedari, CBC News, Calgary.